Oh my goodness. It is like 9 o'clock at night right now. I'm quite tired. I've been really run down lately. I feel like it's all self-inflicted because I have been going out a lot. It's fine. We've been thriving. We've been having fun. And you know what? Live it up while you're young. Tonight, let's get some. Anyways, today is the start of what could be my Disney College program vlogs season two. Let me give you a bit of backstory while I fold my laundry because it's all sitting on my floor right now. So basically I did a Disney College program in 2018 and honestly had the time of my freaking life. I went on the academic exchange program was specific for Canadians and other international people. So basically this program offered me the opportunity to go to Florida for six months and do two different roles and work and live and be in Disney as one does on the Disney College program. 2019 I applied to go back for the next summer which had been summer of 2020 which obviously as we all know didn't necessarily go as planned. COVID definitely had a bit of um say in that and said no which sucked. All my fees were paid, everything was all booked, I had flights, I had everything all good to go, hotels, the whole nine yards and um yeah COVID really screwed that over. For the last couple years, I've kind of just been keeping an eye on it and waiting, kind of hoping for the best. And about a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago maybe, they released saying that programs are coming back for international. Now, here's my issue, is I'm no longer an international student. I still live in Canada, I'm still considered international in the realm of visas, but I am um, no longer in school. I graduated in 2020, again, COVID really screwed up a lot of stuff for me, but I graduated in 2020, and if you guys are familiar with how it works with the student programs, you have to be either enrolled in a institution or freshly graduated. So technically last summer I would have been able to go, but but unfortunately because of the way everything worked out, it wasn't last year. It's now this year and um, I can't go, I'm no longer eligible. So my only option, unless I re-enroll myself in school, is the cultural rep program, which is the Epcot program, as a lot of people are familiar with. It is a program that you go and you represent your country and you work in Epcot at your pavilion of from your country for a year. I have an interview tomorrow. Now, people are very confused about what's been going on, and in all honesty, I kind of am too. It's very, very confusing right now. So what's kind of happening is people are slowly getting their info sessions. There was an info session on Monday and an info session on Friday. And in order to even be eligible for an interview or even get an offer for an interview, you have to go to this presentation slash info session. And that's kind of the way it's always worked with this program because it is a different program and you are representing in your country and it's a different situation since it's not a student program it's a different visa it's a q1 visa instead of a j1 visa which i guess has a big difference so basically you had to get this offer to go to this presentation and then from there you would then get the offer for the zoom interview now it was to my what was an assumption but what everyone kind of thought was there would be multiple of these sessions and multiple of these interviews so because that everyone kind of got screwed over in 2020 and certain people had to be sent home or their programs got cancelled like mine did people who got screwed over basically are going to get first dibs as we learned in the presentation and those are the people they're going to be looking at to bring back to the program now now like i said i was on a program or planning on a program that got cancelled and you'd think that i'd be in the realm of people that they're going to be taking care of and they're going to be kind of giving them first dibs because you know I was like screwed over quote unquote. I asked the lady and she didn't really know what she was talking about. Didn't really know what I was asking either which was kind of annoying but I'm either going to be taken care of or I'm not. It's very unclear. I don't really know but like I said there was two info sessions and every single person who's in the info session has received an offer for an interview. Personally I know a multitude of people who are going. Here's the other issues that come into play. I'm having surgery in July. Realistically I would not be able to do anything till middle of October. So I'm hoping that I can go in April. I'm hoping it all goes as planned and I really want to get an April arrival date. I have April 26th or something I believe as my availability date and in my interview tomorrow they're going to ask me what my date is and that's the date I'm going to say I'm available. But we're going to see how this goes. I'm going to talk to you guys more tomorrow. I'm going to actually have to beg because I have to be up at 4 in the morning to prepare for my interview. Okay, so it is now like 10.30 at night. 10.33. I just finished washing my face and stress popping pimples. I am really nervous. I, I'm really nervous. Yeah, so I'm stress curling my hair right now. Good morning. It is 4.35 a.m. right now. I've been up for about half an hour. I went out of bed like 10 minutes ago. 
and I've washed my face. I put my contacts in, I brushed my teeth, taken my, my vitamins. So I need to do my makeup, I need to get dressed. I'm really cold, so I'm like procrastinating doing anything right now because I'm literally freezing. It's very crooked. This is the top I'm wearing. It is from Raymond's. It is really dark in my car right now. I am running a little bit late. I honestly thought I'd be leaving early, but that clearly didn't happen. I also heard that the interview is quite short. Somebody got off of it before it was even her scheduled time because she got let in 13 minutes early. So I'm gonna make sure I'm there 15 minutes early signed on. I feel just very flustered right now. I feel very unprepared right now. I shouldn't, but I do. I'm gonna run to the gas station because I'm going to run out of gas and that would not be fun. Could you imagine me doing my interview in my car waiting for like a tow truck to come because I ran out of gas? That would not be it. So, I'm at work, I'm ready for my interview. It's about 10 minutes from now, but there's been issues with one of the guy's computers, like with Ash, my interviewer, his computer wasn't working right, so there's been a delay. Some guy didn't get in for an hour, apparently because there's technical difficulties, but at the same time, there is like a big waiting room for it, and I guess depends on when you're in the waiting room is when your interview is. So yeah, I'm getting ready to go. I have my headphones here. They said to use headphones. I'm just setting it up. I'm really nervous. I've never been this nervous before for an interview in my entire life. But yeah, I have notes here, so I can, or I have paper here, so I can quickly take notes. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it's Monday. Not on this program. I was on the academic exchange program and then I was accepted for the uh, cultural exchange program in 2020 that got canceled, 2018. Interview is done. He didn't ask me like any other questions except why the CRP. He told me to keep a lookout on the wait list, which I kind of expected. I want an April arrival date, so I can't, you know what I mean? Like it's too early to kind of send an offers for April. Although I know somebody that got an offer in December, November, and they went in June. So that's like six months out. So for April, a couple months from now maybe, it's already May, middle of May. So maybe by September, I'll talk to you guys after work when I, yeah, I got to text my friends and stuff. I am driving home from work now. The interview was super chill and like relaxed, which was really nice. He asked me why I wanted to do the CRP. He asked me my arrival date idea. But yeah, I think it went really well. He straight up told me, and I don't think he's supposed to say this because it basically means I was accepted that he's gonna like approve my application or whatever, that he's gonna put me on the wait list. Okay, it is May 18th right now. I just got a text from my friend Abby, who I was on my first program with, saying that, well, asking me if I got the wait list email. I'm hoping. I heard Wednesday people were hearing back. I have not seen anything, but also my email and everything was hacked today. My email and my Facebook was hacked today. So that's been a super fun time. So I'm just trying to log into my email right now to see. The shower is also running in the background. Application status. Okay. Dear Jessica, thank you for getting interested in the Disney International Program. We've identified you as a potential candidate for the future opportunities based on your availability beginning April 2023. We've not yet have plans for 2023 nor any guarantees of availability. We'll keep in touch and let you know as soon as we have specific dates. You're in the waitlist for Canada Cultural Rep Representation Program. Waitlisted, baby. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. It's good news. That's what I wanted to see. Hi guys, it's been a couple days since I talked to you last. I've told a few people about me going to Florida, going back to Disney. Also, I'm filming my phone so I know it's a little bit not the best quality, but it is what it is right now. I'm a little bit busy trying to run around and do a thousand things, but I'm gonna go tell Chloe. She asked me to get her bag of Chex Mex when I went to the States a couple weeks ago. Haven't seen her since, but I taped. You've been accepted to the back of it. So I'm gonna hand that to her. And for Natasha, I got her a shot glass in Honduras, I think it was when I was on my cruise and I was gonna give it to her anyways. I rolled up a sign and I put it in the thing, but I'm gonna film the reactions. I have to leave right now because Chloe actually is busy. God, this quality. I'm gonna be filming on my phone, or not my phone, on my camera when I'm actually gonna be in Florida, guys. Don't even worry about it. So you can subscribe.
and stay tuned for those fun vlogs. It will not be this terrible quality, hold on. My phone was also quite greasy, so that's super fun. The snow is, like it's actually starting to snow a lot more. So we're gonna see how fast we can make this. It's currently, so it loads. Oh, my phone is so greasy, you can see the glares. It's currently 6.49, so let's get moving. Apologies. It's really dark, but I'm driving right now. I have my phone propped up, but um, the thing is I live in Vancouver. I don't know if I mentioned this. I live on the West Coast, like the East Coast is some of the time. The West Coast, it doesn't. Like I live in the parts where it's very, very mild. I mean, it's two degrees right now and I'm freezing. Like it's, it's freezing cold, two degrees Celsius. But yeah, it doesn't snow a lot here. We're very fortunate in that sense where we don't have really, really harsh weathers, harsh winters or anything like that. But when it does snow, people don't know how to drive. You ready for your surprise? No. It's a good surprise. Oh my god, yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Mommy's sinking in my chair. <laughs> no, no, you're fucking joking. I'm not. <laughs> You know how I'm coming in June? Yes. Are you guys okay if I come back after August? Because uh, somebody got accepted into the fucking <laughs> Disney College program. She's coming back! <laughs> August 7th. Can I store a bag of stuff at your house when I come in April? Because I'm moving in August. I'm sorry, what? I'm coming August 7th. <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Yeah, I <laughs> I accepted it yesterday morning, like super, super early in the morning I accepted it. So August 7th I move in and I'm there till August 1st. Okay, so as you can see, I just told Chloe and then we FaceTimed Chelsea and Kenzie and Kayla and told them. You ready? <laughs> You're gonna really like this, that's why. Is it a sloth related thing? <laughs> no. First thing. Oh, <laughs> yes. So I got Thank this. You. I've been. Oh, I've had that like since funny. Bellevue. So I've had yes. that for a while. And the other thing is this. This is from Mazapan. Okay. I'm scared. This feels like a drug deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's a shot glass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Two of my favorite things. Oh my gosh. What does that say? Rotan. Okay. <laughs> Honduras. Honduras. Oh my god, yay. Uh, is this something? This is something, huh? <laughs> okay. Ooh, what is this? You've been accepted. You've been accepted. <laughs> oh my god. August I was like, 7th. Wait. I'm here for your birthday. <laughs> this is good news. I was like, wait, I didn't apply. <laughs> oh my god, that's so exciting. Okay. So, just told Natasha, the roads are getting a hell of a lot worse, so I need to get home ASAP. It's getting slippery. I pulled out of her driveway area, and I definitely slid across the road.